Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to show now the use of guides, but in doing so, we're going to do this with a by drawing a three-dimensional color cube. What that is is uh, if we draw a cube like this, it's going to look something like that, only a bit tidier. Then for we've got red going this way, green going this way, and blue going this way. So this will be black down here. This goes up to green there, red there, blue there. And up here, we've got the green and blue combined. So we've got cyan. Here we've got blue and red. So this is going to be magenta. And up there, they're all combined. So that's white. So it's going to look like that. So we're going to start off. We're going to do this with shapes. We get some nice, accurate things. So hold on the shift key and drag that out to draw it. And we'll leave a one point border, but we'll make that one grey. Then we'll go to the fill of this. And we want to go do the green, so we need to go to a gradient. And one side we're going to put the colour green, which turns the others down. And the other side we're going to make that black. So that's going to be one side there, but we want to want the blue up here. So we have to do this in a separate layer. So we'll take this and hit Control J to duplicate it. We just want to change the direction of the gradient. So if I go to the gradient tool here, I can do it this way as well. So I can drag this one up here and this one down here. So that's going to be naught, so it snaps to that edge. But that end up there, I can change that up here. It's another way of doing the gradient to turn up the blue and turn down the green. So I've got the blue and the green, I need to combine them. And the way they're combined is the, think of them in terms of the red, green and blue channels, and you add up those channels and it combines the colours. Because we've got pure red, green and, and pure blue in these just only. So if I go to add, those are now combined. In fact, I can click on the top one, shift click on the top one, control G to group, that. Then we've got that. I can make that actually a little bit bigger. There we go. Make sure it stays square. And so I've got from naught to green there, naught to blue there, and green and blue combined up there. And for another one, I can take that, hit Control J. And I've not got another square, so I can drag this one over here. They snap together there because I've got snapping on. And in here I've got these same layers, of course. So I've got the blue, not to blue. That one's already there. So I need to, all I need to do is edit the green one. And for that one, I'm just going to go from the other way around. So I've got to fill on that. Do a reverse. So I'm going from black there. I just need to change the green. Change that one to red. So turn the green down and the red up. So now I've got the face here. The one on top is going to be trickier. But also now we can start using guides. So we need to bring some guides in. We'll bring the first one into the middle here. And the way that you create guides is if you say view here, you've got to make sure that show guides is on. It normally is. And so if I go into the layer here, make sure I've got a move tool set into the ruler, which you've got to make sure you've got view show rulers on as well. And then I go in here and just drag out, click and drag out, and I can set that there and I can snap that there. If I got snappy on, it will snap to nice positions for me. And then I can drag another one to there and another one to there. And we're going to start drawing the corners using guides. Problem with this is that the guides don't do at angles. So we're going to have to draw lines for that. 
So I'm going to turn off these groups for the moment so we can just see what we're doing. And we're going to need to have a 30 degree line up there doing a, I think it's an isometric projection. So pen here, click over here and shift click over there and I've got myself a line. Now I need to rotate it so I go to the move tool up here, grab this I'm just going to rotate that to what it says 30 degrees. And just need to be very gentle with it. There we go. So now I've got a 30 degree line there. And I can, in fact, I can just let it snap to that there. So if I take this one and hit Control J to duplicate it, and then flip it. So arrange, flip horizontal and drag that up so it snaps there. So I've now got those lines there. Then I'm going to do a square up here. And because of the angling here, you need to sort of do this almost visually. So I'm going to take this one and this one, hit Control G to group them and then Control J to duplicate them. I'm going to slide this up here until it looks about right for a square. So that face there probably could do with coming down a little bit. But just imagine this as being a square. But does that look right for a cube? That'll do. You can do it mathematically. We'll just do it visually. I'm going to hit Control J again and rotate it. And so do a range and do a flip vertical and I bring this down and it's got to go across those angles there. So I've got to look into that one there and make sure this goes to the point where it crosses those two neatly in the middle. And then this will should be on that point there and that will be that point there. So control zero. We've now got what the cube will look like here. So we need to bring down some guidelines here because they're more accurate for snapping. So I'll bring that one down to there. Another one down to each of these points here. And you see that was not snapping. So I can go zoom into that. Make sure it's right in the middle point there. Control zero out again. Bring another one down to there. So each of the points. Another one down to in here and zoom into that make sure that's about right. There we go. And then another one down to the bottom. So you get all of the points there are covered. Now I can just select those lines I drew and I'll just turn them off for the moment. We now see we can, where we're going to put the cube. So let's put, bring this one back on again. So this one goes down to here slides up to there and then to do the diagonal I go to the middle one here and just outside that I got up down so I could shear it so that snaps up to that then the next one here I'm gonna gonna duplicate that with control J because I need one for the top so I'm just gonna do that there so I do the colors first but now I can take this one bring this one down to here slide it up to that and go to that shear and move that up to that. So we've got those two sides. Now we need the top one here. So with the top one, let's open that one out. And the the naught to red there is going to be from blue to going from here, blue to magenta. So I go on that look on that. Change this here. That one's going to be blue. And this one's going to be magenta, which is red and blue. So that's that one nice there. And the top one here, there we go, is going to go from blue to cyan. So where it's black, I want to be blue. And make that one cyan, so that is blue and green. And the other one is blue, and that's fine. And so what have we got this? Oh, we got them. Have we got them the right way around? 
So I need that blue to cyan and that there. So I need to flip this vertically, I think. So range, flip vertical. Yep, so that blue to magenta matches that up there. And the blue to cyan matches that up there. So now I can just bring this up here. Oops. Do it with the group selected. I need to rotate this. So I'm going to take that and do rotate that 30 degrees. Okay. So now I can take this and snap that down to there and up to that. And then I go to the skew here, skew that down, that should match that. And there we go, there's our cube. To get rid of the guides, I can just go to view and the guides manager here. And here you can see you can set all sorts of things about it. But I just want to remove all guides, which is down there. And there we go, there's our cube with the white lines around the edge of it, which you can get rid of if you want to. You can change the, the uh, on here, if you go to there, the stroke on all of those, there's a around all of them. So, I, oops, excuse me. Go to the move tool, take that there. And it's gone white because I think it's adding up. And I can then go to down here, change the stroke to whatever I want. If I want to turn that off, there we go. That's the strokes turned off. So it's, you can see they're just the intense colours and the rough shape of where the cube is. Anyway, that's it. Hope that was helpful and thank you very much for watching.